Hi everyone and welcome back to Diamond Delight. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be trying a new um, tip on my pens. So my boyfriend for Christmas got me some of these metal tipped diamond painting pens and I have not tried them yet. Um, I did open them just to kind of look at them um, but it comes with a pretty wide straightener and then um, your standard single placer a slanted single placer and some multi placers as well. We have a six, oh, six, nine, and ten. Oh, and three. And if you can see it, it actually looks pretty thin, which I'm excited about. I thought the metal might be thick. Um, similarly with the straightener, it looks like it's a pretty nice thin end there. <clears throat> I'm very excited to have the straightener, especially because I, the other day, I dropped my. Um, my other pen and my, my straightener broke off of that one, so I was pretty sad about that. But now I have this new and improved one to try. So um, I think I'm going to start by just doing a single placer because that's what I use most often. So I think that I'll, I'll be able to give you guys the most feedback on that one. Um, I did notice that there's two that come with this pack. And I don't know if you guys are able to see here. I'm going to try to focus it. But... This one has like a round opening and this one has more like a square opening. So I'm not sure if maybe one is meant for rounds and one is meant for squares. But for curiosity's sake, I think I'm going to try the square one because I'm working on a square kit and just see if I notice any difference. Okay, so I'm going to place this in the tip of my pen. Fits in pretty nicely. No, um, no difficulty there getting it in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with some of the standard wax that these kits just come with. So on first look, it's a little hard to load the wax in, but maybe that means once it's in, it stays in a little better. You can always hope for that. I'm just going to tuck the extra in. And I'm going to get a little extra just in case. I'm not sure how far the hole goes, so I don't know if you kind of need to like fill the hole behind first and then get this. I'm kind of thinking of like an ice cream cone effect where if you keep on pushing it'll just keep on going back until it's full. Oops, I think it all just came out. Hang on. <laughs> There's a little bit of a learning curve here. I think I'm going to get some drills out so that I can poke it and see if it has, if it's picking them up or not. So I've got some drills out and I'm going to try to pick up my first one. Okay, it's stuck. It doesn't look super secure on there, but let me try a few and just kind of see how it goes. It's not bad, but I would say the, the grip feels a little less secure than uh, with the normal pen. I feel like I'm kind of just like barely holding on to it. I think I'm gonna try the one with the round tip because the round tip was bigger. So then I think I'll be able to get more wax in there. Sadly, my camera didn't actually capture me getting my first trial with the round opening. Um, so I'm just inserting a clip of me trying it a little bit later on. But I will say that I did like the circle opening better than the square opening. There was just much more surface area for the wax to be exposed so that I could get a better grip on the drills. And I just felt like I had much more control and more security when I was placing them. The slanted tip, as you can see, will definitely take some getting used to. Um, I think especially because the seal to the pen tip isn't super tight, so it can kind of swivel around really easily. I might recommend adding a piece of tape there just to make it a little bit more stable and that will probably make it easier. But I also think this would just take some practice getting used to. I actually really like strainers because, I don't know, I think I like making sure my paintings are nice and straight and perfect and these guys definitely help with that. Ooh, okay. I really like this one. <laughs> I haven't had one this big, so maybe it's the size that I like, but I also just feel like because it's made out of metal, it's a lot more sturdy. So I felt like with my plastic one, sometimes with the, the drills pushing, I felt like it would get dented 
or just not, I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't as strong, which makes sense because it was plastic, not metal. I really like this one. And it doesn't really matter if, um, <clears throat> if this thing slides around too much because I'm pushing down and I'm basically keeping it straight anyway. So um, yeah, I actually think this one works really well. I'm really happy to have this as part of the kit. I'm glad they added in the straightener, not just the tips. Okay, I'm gonna try the three placer now. And I already loaded it with wax just so you guys didn't have to watch me struggle with that. But let's go ahead and see how the multi-placer works. Hmm. Not bad. I'm not um <laughs> I'm not the best multi-placer, so I'm not gonna lie and pretend that I, I know what I'm doing 100 percent with the multi-placer. Um, but even so, I feel like this is actually pretty easy to use. I might say a similar thing as I said with the straightener in that um, I like that it's a little more sturdy. So I feel like, again, sometimes with the multi-placers that are made out of plastic around the edges here where the drills are placed, it'll kind of like get shaped around the drills which can be a good thing because then it means, um, you know, if you load it straight every time that you're kind of now making little holes for those drills to go into and they'll be straight every time. But um, it can also sometimes kind of mess up the drills when you're picking them up. So I actually like that this seems a little more sturdy and like it's not going to get bent out of shape over time. I think I need to put a little bit more wax in it though. It's always a little bit of a guessing game and trial and error with how much wax to put in your pen and I tend to like to put more in it just because I feel like that gives me a, a more secure grip on them but then you do have to deal with it kind of oozing out <laughs> and potentially getting on your drills but for me I think it's it's worth it to do that now I'm kind of going into some areas where it's a little bit thinner like harder to fit my pen in so I'm trying to see if that is an issue at all. It actually doesn't seem to be creating much issue. I don't even normally do these kinds of small spaces anyways with the um, multiplacer just because I feel like it's really hard to get it nice and even. So I usually avoid it anyways, but in a pinch, I think this would work decently well. It's not the straightest, but that could also be my poor placement. I would say these feel um, pretty similar to the plastic multi-placers, if not better. And just to give you a look at the uh, three, the metal versus the plastic, I have a the metal three-placer here and the plastic four-placer here, and this is the thin one, not the, the thicker one. Some of the plastic ones are thicker. They're pretty much the same width. I do wish that this one had come with a four-placer, because I think I like the four-placer a little bit better than the three, but um, it does come with a three, a six, and a nine, so nice to have options. I think I'm going to go through and do a little bit more of this painting um, using the various tips, the multi-placers, the single placers, just so I can kind of give you guys a better idea of what I think after using them for a longer amount of time. I personally find it really satisfying to watch multi-placing and hear the little pop each time the pen lifts up. Um, so I did leave some of that in there, but feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to watch the actual placing and you just want to hear more of my verbal review. The straightener definitely does want to shift around a bit um, in the base, so if that does bother you, you can always wrap some washi tape or some um, scotch tape around the base of it just to make it have a snugger fit. This is just the regular standard tip that the kits all come with. You can probably tell that I am a lot faster at using this, more precise with my placement. Um, maybe just because I'm more comfortable with it, but I also just do really like using the standard tip. And then this is me trying the single placer with the round opening instead of the square opening. 
Um, definitely felt better using this one and over time I got a lot faster with it. I still would say that the standard single placer feels a little bit more accurate to me. It's a little less bulky so when you're kind of getting into those tight spaces you have a little bit more precision. See, my problem with multi-placers is that I feel like it doesn't push the drills down enough. And since it does them kind of wobbly when I try to straighten them out, they just kind of pop off because they weren't on there firmly. I don't know. Do you guys have any tips for that? Maybe I need to press them down after I multi-place them, but before I go in with the straightener. I'm not sure. All right. Well, my final thoughts for these metal tips. I have pretty positive thoughts of them. I think... Um, the straightener was probably my number one favorite thing. This does a really good job of moving the drills in the place that you want them. Um, I think I like the multi-placers, uh, the metal multi-placers better than the plastic ones. Uh, I tried the three and the six, and mind you, I don't normally use multi-placers much, so my placement is not perfect with these, but it's also not perfect with the other multi-placers. So, as far as multi-placers go, I think these are actually pretty good. Uh, for the single placers, the one with the round opening, I actually did end up feeling more comfortable with, and I was it was pretty easy to go back and forth and put them on. I still do think my, my go-to and my comfort zone would be the um, plastic one, probably just because I'm more used to it right now, and because I think it provides a little bit more accuracy. But I don't, I don't mind using this, and I think the more often I use it, um, I'll slowly start getting even more comfortable with it. I think this one with the square, very small opening is not my favorite, so I probably wouldn't go for this one much, but maybe try it out if you, if you find that, um, maybe you find like your, your drills are sticking too much to your opening. Maybe this would actually be a good one for you. Um, and then lastly, this one I think is a really cool and unique option with the slanted tip. I think I definitely need to do a little bit more practice with this one first, but um, I could see myself eventually liking this kind. Um, but yeah, overall, I think these are pretty well made. They seem like they're gonna last forever. I mean, they're not gonna get bent out of shape. If I drop them, they shouldn't crack or anything. So I'm definitely excited to have these and I think um, I will get lots of use out of them. I'm just gonna keep on using them, you know, as I can, switching back and forth between the plastic and the metal. And just over time, I'll probably see if I have a preference of one over the other, but yeah, right now I'd say if you're interested in these, it's definitely worth a try. So hopefully you found this little demonstration useful. Um, if you're interested in trying these, I would I would give you my my recommendation to go ahead and try them. If you're perfectly happy with the plastic ones and stick with the plastic ones, there's nothing wrong with them either. It's cool just that we have a lot of options and you can kind of find what works best for you. So I'm going to wrap it up there, but thank you for watching this and I hope to see you next time. Bye.